Welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face, and my first thought when facing these hoppers was that I would place the anvil above them, and they would run into the bottom of it and die. I don't actually know if that's the case or not. Might as well find out. It is! But I've realized it'll probably be much simpler and a lot less lethal to just push the anvil along underneath them. Oh, it's the beginning of the damn level. I see. To push the thing along underneath them... And, uh... Have them jump up to that top platform themselves. I probably would have just kept going if I'd realized it would be a huge pain in the ass. This way! Careful, Billy. Don't let the dragonflies sew your mouth shut. reason that it's long and pointy, and people nicknamed it the Devil's Knitting Needles. Blob. I imagine if you actually tried to use that as an anvil, it would give Blobber quite the headache. I mean, I feel like it would work. You probably wouldn't get more than two or three you strikes in with a hammer before he changed back and started getting mad at you. Hurry! See, I could do that and splatter them one by one, or I could just do this and shove it along. Ready? Man, that was right at the end, too. I didn't realize there weren't any checkpoints in the, uh... Challenge level, so I guess I should have guessed. We did good. from the annoyance of the hoppers, the mote of light changed everything. I'm guessing it's a picture of Blobbert now. No. It looks like a drafting table. Watch it be like, oh, it's a level editor! That's one of the things they didn't tell you about this. Oh god, I do hit A on this. Wait, wait, I can't see you. Oh. Somebody's home videos. Okay. This isn't weird at all. Go ahead. I was guessing from the backpack that he was uh, taking reference material.
Oh. Was cute. I like that. That's a cute kid. Although I should note that that cute kid is at bare minimum 14 years older, so, uh, you know. <laughs> you know, since the game came out in 2009 and. That isn't. It is just the same one. Wait, wait, I can't see it. Yeah, it's okay. What does he say there? One more time. Wait, wait, I can't see you. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I like that. You're not supposed to look at Dad. Look at me. <laughs> the whole family is helping out. Yeah, I, I, I bet that's seriously just the animator's kids. That's really cute. Finish off the bunch. Oh man! Oh right, the boss level. Shit, I didn't even think of that. I just realized there are three treasure chests in the mech level. There, there's probably a challenge version of that. Let me guess. Yep. Okay, we just got the one. It's the the berry balloon and the pair parachute. Since the berry balloon doesn't really count. Way. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Oh, that is death. No. Oh, 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 yes. Up, up, up. No. Oh my god, if I had done that one and done, it would have been amazing. Okay, so I don't actually have to fight. I was genuinely worried about that for a bit there. Like,. Oh, fuck. Is this going to end with a harder version of the Cobra fight? Blobbert. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty understandable. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, take that back. You can float around all you want. I would be absolutely doing that. Oh. I really like that you can t look at his shoulders and see that Blobbert's just hanging on. If I go in from a lower spot and go back in, it will push me up higher. I don't understand why thermodynamics is the way it is. I do know some of the laws of motion. Or at least I have observed similar things while writing updrafts as Batman. There, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Oh! The frog turns into a prince. Like, for a second there, I actually thought, but what if? Oh, there's more than one frog. really what it looked like, but okay. Oh, no, the level, not the boss. That's, yeah, that's pretty much what the boss looked like. Yeah, but I didn't have to climb all the way up at the top. I went up one level, and I dropped something on him. 
I guess the whole thing did lower down one more level, but then I didn't go any higher than that. Okay, that still feels good, though. Good work, everyone. And I guess we head off to the caves. <laughs> Billy's family are proud of him. I mean, if they didn't know any of this, they're going to get back and say, oh, there's all this treasure in the house, and also you've got an alien friend, and you've saved a world? I'm not missing any, am I? One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, there's five at the bottom. Excellent. Yes, I was in three pieces. I forgot about that. Sup, lizard? Well, I hope I have something to get me up there. It's going to be a very short level. All I have is the berry balloon and the bubblegum bouncer. Okay. Let's check if there is no treasure chest in this level. Oh! Yeah, no, it's just death. Carry on. Ah, shit! That's okay, we'll get it this time! Maybe, knock on wood. I must have hit, yeah, okay, I must have hit it when it was slightly off the ground then, because that doesn't count. Yeah, that was just me jumping too early, I guess. Away! Oh. The strangest thing that lizard will ever see in his life. Fuck. I did it again. I tried to jump in midair. Sorry about that. Oh, nice. There doesn't seem to be a button to get off. Interesting. You know, like if you've got the, the coconut, pressing the Y button will have him set it back down on the ground without throwing it. Oh, god damn it. That one's just embarrassing. Come on, man. Let's do this. Fuck. Yeah, if I were gonna try to make a new one of these, I think the best, the most obvious routes to take would be either two-player co-op mode, Although you'd still need some innovative new stuff for the single-player campaign, I guess. And, uh... Well, I guess making it 3D. Fuck. I guess it does complicate the, uh, the puzzles immediately, but, you know, hey! There are a lot of great 3D puzzle games out there. I'm immediately thinking of Portal and uh, the Talos Principle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is so imprecise! Like, it's hard enough inching forward when I can't- when I can only vaguely tell where I am. Like, just looking at the middle of the ball. Shit. See, there I thought I was gonna bounce very slightly off the edge. And I was gonna have enough, uh, foot space, or, so to speak, to, uh... You know, do the big jump.
fuck! I did the thing again. The only one that I've had more trouble with than this, I think, is the Jack. Not that it's difficult to use, but that it's... It's kind of nebulous how and when you grab and let go. what that is, Blobber. Do they even make those anymore? Maybe they still made them in 2009. Ooh. No! sure what I was going to do there. I didn't notice those last time. Oh boy, this level. Ugh. Kicking my ass. Oh, for fuck's sake. And whenever it does kick my ass, it makes me look really bad! Because that just looks like I went straight off the edge. I was not attempting to go straight off the edge. Oh no. For fuck's sake. would be rolling its eyes if its eyeballs could move. I'm pretty sure that's the case, that compound eyes don't move, they just have lenses in every direction. I'm trying to remember what the other animal I know of that never moves its eyes. Snakes? No, no, snakes just don't have eyelids. It's uh, owls I'm thinking of. The reason they can turn their heads, uh... Oh. oh that's funny. Uh, the reason owls can turn their heads almost 360 degrees is because their uh, eyes are so big that they physically don't have mo room to move in their eye sockets. It's just too tight. So uh, they have to turn their entire head in order to look at something else. Pro tip, it also makes them really good security guards in uh, secret military installations because uh, stealth-based operatives can't snap their necks. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I wasn't actually trying to bounce there, I just thought I could bounce off the little... the first slanted one to the second one. And instead I bounced from that one to death. Billy probably can't remember each of these. Except then the treasure chests are gone sometimes. Hmm. Really need to get that one right on the edge. All right. Since there's uh, almost no time left on the timer, here's a jump cut. This is the 33rd attempt since the jump cut. I know. Uh, let's 
probably for the best, all things considered. This is only the second time I've made it past those pillars, for the record. If you thought boss fights were bad, try a precision platforming sequence. Aha! On a deliberately imprecise uh, method of transportation. Thanks, uh, shield and spears. That must have been based off the original game. Well, it's just a screenshot. With, like, some sky stuff added. Okay. There with the subway and everything. Nice. Well, I'm burning dog face. I know that finally over. Oh, actually, there was one thing I wanted to note. At least each of those tries only took me a few seconds. Uh, the most uh, attempts I'd ever had to take at something during a jump cut was more than a hundred. It was when I was fighting the optional super boss in uh, God of War. And the really annoying thing about that is that unless I just totally sucked, uh, a given run would, it would take a minute, two minutes to attempt, and then I'd have to start all over. That was there all fucking day, man. <laughs> Literally, it was like three in the morning or something like that by the time I finished. You've survived tougher, says my lozenge rapper. Go figure. Thank you, Blobbert. That was very frustrating, but we got through it together. I'd have done it without you. Quite literally. Yes. Now, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play a Boy and His Blob when we continue throwing ourselves at the challenge of these challenge levels. And, uh... Maybe, just maybe, have ourselves a good time in the process. <laughs> Later!